Hey, my name is Nate Bartram and I run The New Oil, which is a project dedicated to teaching about data privacy and cybersecurity and some simple, easy ways that people can protect their own data. As a content creator, privacy is equally important to me. It's important for me to be able to protect my identity and control who knows what about me so that I can avoid things like impersonation, identity theft, and stalking. Speaking of, if you are any kind of a content creator, one of the best ways to compartmentalize is to use an alias name. For example, my real name isn't actually Nate, and I'm actually pretty open about that fact. I'm using a fake name because, like I said, I want to protect my privacy too. You can use a fake name on social media. You can use a shortened version of your real name, like Alex instead of Alexander. In some industries like Twitch streaming or YouTube, it's okay to use handles and usernames like Markiplier or Mr. Beast, who are a couple of famous YouTubers. When you do this, it makes it really hard for cyber criminals to find useful information about you because they don't really have anything to start with. And that actually touches on the concept of compartmentalization. This is one of the best ways to protect your privacy and security is to compartmentalize your life. You want to share certain information with your coworkers, but you want to withhold other information. You're probably already doing this. For example, when you go to work, you have a separate email account. You probably dress a certain way that you don't normally dress at home, and you may even interact with your bosses and coworkers in a different way than you do with your friends and family. And this doesn't mean you're lying or being fake or anything like that. It's just that you're choosing what you wanna share and who with. You can protect your privacy and security by doing this with your digital life. Some common examples are some people will use a separate browser for banking or for online shopping. You might use a different email address for newsletters or social media than for your friends and your family. How much you want to compartmentalize is completely up to you. Some people go really hardcore. Other people just separate work and personal. Either way, adding that layer of separation is a really powerful way to protect yourself.